Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here. And in this video, I'll be unboxing and setting up a Hope Gardens Intelligent Planter, a miniature countertop hydroponic grow system. You'll receive the Smart Planter, Quick Start Card, and a full illustrated instruction manual. This is the Smart Planter. It measures 11 inches wide, 7 inches tall, and 6.5 and inches deep. The height of the light on top is adjustable on a telescoping column. Just be sure to hold the unit steady while raising it. The light should be raised as your plants grow larger, and the max height the light can reach is 20 and a quarter inches above the table, or about 15 inches above the planting deck. There are four different kinds of LED lights in the lamp on top, including full spectrum white, shortwave and far red for photosynthesis and plant health, and blue for vegetative growth and flowering. You'll choose from two different light modes to stimulate leafy growth or encourage flowering and fruiting depending on the type and maturity of your plants. The planter has eight holes for the planting pods, and the ninth hole here, covered by a rubber cap, is the inlet for refilling the water tank below. This opening has a plastic tab in it with a picture of a water can, preventing you from placing a grow pod in it by mistake. The rubber cap is also stamped with a watering can. The planting deck simply lifts off, and inside you'll find a pack of eight grow sponges that are not preceded, an eight pack of grow baskets, and an accessory pack with a pair of plant tags, eight humidity domes, four hole covers, a spare drain hole plug, plastic tweezers, and 12 sticker labels. In these boxes, you'll find the wall adapter with a 5-foot power cord and two different squeeze bottles of fertilizer pellets labeled A and B. At the bottom of the water tank is a pump to keep the water moving and oxygenated so that it won't become stagnant. To its left, along the bottom, is the drain hole, which is pre-fitted with a watertight rubber plug and is removable for emptying the unit. The short power cord of the pump gets plugged into the top port, making the pump replaceable if needed, while the lower port is for the AC power adapter. At the front of the planter, the water tank has a clear window marked from 1 to 3 liters in half liter increments, so you can monitor the water level and add more when needed. On top of the light is the control panel, with the power button, water pump button, vegetative light mode, and flowering and fruiting light mode. The seeds I chose for my first planting are Greek basil, buquinho peppers, Italian basil, cilantro, and Boston lettuce. The quick start guide recommends soaking these seeds overnight prior to planting, so I'll see you tomorrow morning. The next day, you'll want to soak and rehydrate your grow sponges, and here I'm using five, one for each of my plant varieties. They'll rehydrate pretty quickly, in about one to two minutes. Next, place each of the grow sponges in a hanging basket, then pop them in the holes on the planting deck spacing them out as much as possible. If planting fewer than 8 pods, be sure to cover the remaining open holes to prevent bugs and other contaminants from getting in the water tank. Now we'll carefully place our soaked seeds in the hole in the center of the grow sponges. The included tweezer really helps with precision here. We'll pop a humidity dome on top, then label the plant so we know what's what. Rather than place the sticker on the dome though, which will be removed after the seeds germinate, I'll just stick the label next to the seed pod and I'll do the same with the rest of the seeds. Once all the seeds are planted, fill the water tank with three liters of distilled water, or about three quarters of a gallon. Be sure to fill up to the max line so that the water can keep the pods moist throughout the germination process, then cap the water inlet. Next, we'll adjust the light all the way down to the lowest level and plug in and power the unit on. This turns on both the lights and the water pump right away. But if your seeds don't need light to germinate, you can tap the light mode to turn the lights off. Just note that they will automatically turn back on 10 hours later in a 16 hour on, 8 hour off cycle. The same is true for the water pump. You can tap the button to turn it off, but it will start up again in 10 hours and runs in 30 minute on off cycles. I recommend leaving the pump on though to avoid any problems with stagnancy, like anaerobic bacteria or algae growth. For now, we won't be needing the fertilizers, which we'll add after the seeds have germinated. But to use them, we'll need to add 100 milliliters of water to each bottle and shake to dissolve the pellets. Once made, the solutions are good for five months when stored out of direct sunlight. Both of these fertilizers should be used together for optimal plant health, and each of the plastic screw tops have measuring lines up to 15 milliliters, so try not to lose them. You'll need to add 5 milliliters of fertilizer from each of the bottles for every liter of water added to the tank throughout the growing process. If you're curious as to the composition of the fertilizers, the labels have a detailed breakdown of each of the nutrients so you can refill and reuse them. 
What I like about this product is that it's all self-contained, and the planter doesn't have to be placed near a window because it's got its own lights and timers. It's also not so smart that you'll need a smartphone or app to operate it. Once it's set up, the only thing you really need to do is refill the water tank when it drops below one liter and use the fertilizers after the seeds germinate. I'll be posting updates over in the next couple of weeks and months showing the progress of the plants right up through harvesting, so stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and overview of a Hope Garden's Smart Hydroponic Indoor Planter. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.